fugitive known as Fat Leonard remains detained in Venezuela this evening after weeks on the run. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lindsay Pena. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. Fat Leonard was on house arrest in San Diego after pleading guilty in a major Navy corruption scandal when he managed to escape. New at 5 o'clock, ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky digs into why getting him back to San Diego could take days, months, or even years. It's another surprising development in a case with years of shocking twists and turns. Fat Leonard Francis, the man at the center of a massive U.S. Navy bribery scandal, caught by Venezuela Interpol agents just two weeks after allegedly cutting off his ankle monitor and sneaking out of his house arrest in Torrey Highlands. Getting him is one thing. Getting him here is another. It's all negotiation, Jeff. Michael Lippman is a former yeah, assistant yeah. U.S. attorney so, who has both prosecuted uh, and defended extradition cases. He says they could be hard or easy. Here's how Venezuela could make it easy. You have more problems than for us than you're worth. You're not a citizen here. I think we're going to put you on a plane and say goodbye. And if that happened, he could be back fairly quickly. Kind of a informal extradition. But that seems unlikely because while the U.S. does have an extradition treaty with Venezuela, the relationship between the countries has been strained for decades. That could play a factor in how Venezuela approaches the U.S. request to send Leonard back. You'd like to think that the protocols set forth in the treaty and in Venezuelan law will be followed. Doesn't mean it will be, but you'd like to think it would be. So extradition could take a long time, as in months or years, depending on Venezuelan law, if Leonard is allowed to challenge it in court, and if Venezuela wants to drag the process out. But Lippmann says it's also possible the countries could negotiate around the treaty. You have no idea what's going on between the United States and Venezuela and what debits and credits can be called on regardless of what the relationships are with the country. The U.S. Attorney's Office told us they had no comment. We sent several questions to the U.S. Marshal's Office Thursday morning but have not heard back. Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News. It looks like Leonard will need a new attorney. Today, his current lawyer in San Diego told the judge in the case he would file to withdraw from the case. Prosecutors also, unsurprisingly, hinted that Leonard will face new charges connected to his escape.